Hello my dear friends, this is Sajina. Today I am going to tell you about ADCC. ADCC it is also referred to as antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity. This is called so because for ADCC an antibody molecule is necessary. ADCC is done with the help of an antibody molecule. ADCC is a mechanism of cell mediated immunity. Even though cells are involved in ADCC, the mechanism require an antibody molecule to function. ADCC requires an effector cell that typically interact with antibodies. The main antibody molecules involved in ADCC are IgG and IgE antibodies. The main cells mediating ADCC are the following. Among these cells, the most important cell involved in ADCC is natural killer cells. Macrophages, neutrophils, eosinophils can also mediate ADCC reaction. Coming to the macrophages, you have already studied that macrophages they are involved in phagocytic reactions. They are capable of presenting antigens to T helper cells. And another function of macrophages, they can promote or they can mediate ADCC reaction. Here, macrophages they have a special receptor on their surface called FC receptor. This FC receptor, it can recognize the FC portion of immunoglobulin molecule which is already bound to the target cell surface. This helps in the recognition and activation of macrophages and activated macrophages, they start releasing lytic enzymes and tumor necrosis factor at the target site. This results in the lysis of target antigen or target cell. Next is natural killer cells. Natural killer cells, these are large granular lymphocytes. They play an important role in viral infections and also cancer. They help to eliminate viruses from our body. They are capable of mediating this special mechanism that is ADCC. Again, they have an FC receptor on their surface or CD16 receptor on their surface. This receptor, it can recognize the FC portion of antibody and mainly IgG antibody. Therefore, this FC receptor, it recognizes the FC portion of antibody which is already bound to the surface of the target cell or surface of the pathogen. After recognition, the natural killer cells, they get activated and they start releasing granzymes and perforin proteins. Granzymes are granules containing enzymes and these enzymes are mainly lytic enzymes. And the perforin proteins, they are capable of boring holes in the cell membrane of the pathogen resulting in the leakage of cell components. And the result of the reaction is the death of the target cell or the target antigen or pathogen. Third one is neutrophils. Neutrophils, you all know that these are granular lymphocytes. And these neutrophils, they are playing an important role in phagocytosis. They can also act as antigen presenting cells. And they can also promote ADCC. Because they also possess an FC receptor. This FC receptor, it helps to recognize the FC portion of antibody which is already bound to the surface of the pathogen or bacteria. After recognition, they start releasing lytic enzymes and these enzymes help to destroy these invading pathogens 
or bacteria or target cell. Fourth one is eosinophils. Eosinophils, you have already studied that they have bilobed nucleus, they are granular WBCs or they are granulocytes and they play an important role in allergic reactions. They are also involved in ADCC and the, here we can see the immunoglobulin involved is IgE. By mediating ADCC, they help to remove parasites, mainly protozoan parasites. They also possess an FC receptor and this FC receptor helps to recognize the FC portion of immunoglobulin which is already bound to the surface of the parasite. After recognition, activation occurs resulting in the release of lytic enzymes and perforins. The result of the reaction is the death of the parasite. Therefore, ADCC plays an important role in protecting our body. It is playing a significant role in antibody mediated protection against various infections, mainly viral infections. Coming to the mechanism again, the first step is binding of antibody to the surface of the target cell or to the antigen. Binding occurs between the paratope of the antibody and the epitope of the antigen. After binding, the FC portion of the antibody will be exposed and this FC portion of the antibody get recognized by the FC receptors of these effector cells. After recognition, they combine and after recognition, they start releasing damaging substances. The main substances released are lytic enzymes, granzymes, perforins and tumor necrosis factor. The substance released will depend on the type of effector cell involved in the reaction. And the result of the mechanism is the destruction of target cell pathogen or bacteria. This is the mechanism and this is the diagrammatic representation and here we can see the target cell. The target cell surface we can see antigenic determinants or epitopes. Antibody first come and bound to the epitope with the paratope. Therefore antigen antibody complex will be formed and the FC portion of the antibody is exposed and this is the FC receptor. We can see the FC receptor on the surface of this receptor effector cells and the FC receptor it recognizes the FC portion of antibody. After recognition these effector cells get activated Activated effector cells, they start secreting damaging substances. Here we can see eosinophil, it is secreting lytic enzymes and perforins resulting in the death of target cell. Neutrophil, it is releasing mainly lytic enzymes resulting in the lysis of target cell. Natural killer cells, it is releasing perforin, then granzymes and tumor necrosis factors and these all are destroying the target cell. Macrophages, they are producing mainly tumor necrosis factor and perforins, resulting in the lysis of target cell. That's all for today. Hope you all understand. Thank you.